Facing the world. Is it too cold? Um, no. Buddy, you need it. You just woke up. Your body needs water. A coffee. You don't need coffee. Coffee's for daddies. Someone looks tired. I'm really tired. What? Uh, hey. Did you do free pro breakfast? Yeah. Oh no, man. Yes, sir. Hey, scream. Was it outside? It's a fire truck? Yeah. Where's my coffee? What? Whoa. Whoa. Someone's pancakes ended up on the floor. And all over the track. Yeah. How'd those get on the floor? Um. Hey, come over here. Call me. Call me. Is there syrup on your feet? Why didn't you tell me that you had syrup on your feet? Give him a big kiss. Come on. Give him a big kiss. Like this. Mwah. Okay. Give him a kiss. Ah. <laughs> I have to go to Dallas for Thunder Road. So I'm getting picked up tomorrow morning by Steven and his girlfriend are coming to pick me up at 6 a.m. so early. So I have to get all packed and everything ready today so that I don't have to try and rush and get it done tonight. But. Uh, I'm pretty excited. We have some like cool stuff happening with Thunder Road, so we have to go to Dallas for some some meetings, um, and we're meeting with the, the veterans organization that we work with out there. Okay, you want to help me lace these shoes? Yeah. All right, come here. Come sit in my lap. You look like a mother frog. You got to put this in that hole right there. Oh, almost. There we go. Now pull it out this way. Pull it up. There you go. This will be the first time that I'm a since we've had Crow that we'll be apart for this amount of time. I'm excited because we have some cool stuff happening, but I'm I'm sad. I don't. Know. It's gonna be hard to be away from him for for so long. We were away from him one other time. That's true. In the very beginning, though, but it, and we were both away from him for when we went to go shoot Anthem of the Seas. It's kind of funny with Anthem of the Seas too that at that point when we were doing this YouTube or when we were shooting that video, he we, we hadn't talked about the fact that we had him yet. And what's funny too is in the, in the video I say that I had to drive up to Showa to drop Crow off, and I oh, was yeah. literally driving up to Showa to drop our son off. But people thought you were talking about the dog. The dog. Yeah. Uh, but it also it, it's funny because at that point it was hard to leave him because. It was also like so new and exciting and I just didn't want to be away from him. It was almost like when you get a new puppy or a new toy, I mean obviously I'm much more heightened and more intensified but it's kind of like that feeling when you get a puppy and you just, all you want to do is be home and be with him because it's, it is so new. 
but now that we've had the time to bond and connect, I don't want to be away from him because we become so integrated in each other's lives and become such a part of each other's lives that it's, I feel like there's going to be, I don't I'm, I hate the idea of me not being there when he wakes up in the morning and not being there when he goes to bed at night. And I don't know, being there throughout his day or being that constant and throughout his day. Can you please keep them organized? One more pair? Oh, thank you. That pair actually can stay, because I need to wear those. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Look. Is that for me to take on my trip? Yeah. All right, put them in there. Oh, thank you. Is he going to sleep with me and keep yes. me company? Yes. There we go. Now help me zip it. Right here, this one. Zip it. And around. There you go. And it's only like, what is it, two, three days? Three days? So it's not even that long. Still, even if one of us don't get to see him because we're not home and back before he go, wakes up and goes to sleep, you open his door, you see him in the crib, in his crib, and yeah. yeah, you see him, but you don't actually get to be with him. Even that's hard. Yeah. That is true. Like One I, day. When I'm home, when I get home, and he, if he's in bed when I get home, it, is, it makes me a little sad that I wasn't there to kiss him goodnight or read him a story. This will be the first time the Blue edits and does all, all the editing, all the music, everything on the video without me being there. I'm very curious to see this. <laughs> It'll actually, I get, you guys, the viewers, will probably see it at the same time that I see it. I guess I'll get to I'll get to preview it. I guess on once it's loaded to YouTube, but it'll already be loaded to YouTube. Daddy, what? Are you not feeling very good? I put on this. You got your book. What book is that? Is it Tech Time? Yes. Well, who's on your shirt? Who's that? Mickey Mouse. And what book do you have? Sure. Mickey Mouse. Daddy. Be sad. These are from uh, Colorado. My sister Tony got these last time she went. These used to grow in the mountains, up in the Rockies, but they didn't get nearly as big. When I went to Mexico, I got this pot from my grandma. And then when my grandma passed, my aunt uh, sent it home with me. And so I put it in that pot. It's a warm April day. Plants are my friends. Hi, mm. bug. We decided to spend that afternoon together right before I left, or before I have to leave. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do just like some fun family things. Blue's been wanting to do some more gardening, get some more vegetables, and. I want to spend nice. every day gardening, but we have very limited space to. We have, um, we have a lot of yard. We have a lot of yard, but we have a lot of gravel, three to four inches thick. And so removing the gravel to plant seems like a lot of work. But we did get some tomatoes, three different kinds of tomatoes actually, uh, which we've never done before. We usually just have the same kind of tomatoes, like Roma tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. And uh, some chocolate bell peppers. Chocolate bell peppers. When we bought the house, there's like a side yard was all laid with concrete. Poorly, very poorly. Uh, but I want to jackhammer it up and make it into a garden. That seems like a lot of work, but we'll get it done. Working in the yard or gardening has played such a big role, I think, in our relationship. But I think it's obviously been, always been a big part of your life. But for me, you, I don't know, you kind of taught me the importance of like having your hands in the dirt and being connected with the earth. And imagine I do if we live somewhere it. other than Phoenix. Imagine if we live somewhere 
on the East Coast that was green and it rained. Growing out there probably would be perfect. I mean, we, I grew up in the mountains, so not so much gardening, but definitely the earth and respecting the earth. We lived in the middle of the Rockies. Our property bordered a national park, so it was just trees and wilderness. So I definitely have a, a appreciation for it. Which is why I want to move back. I'm trying to get him to agree to move there for like six months, rent a cabin in the woods, live the wilderness life for six months, work on some creative stuff, spend time as a family, go on horseback rides. He's afraid he would love it and not want to leave. That's what the issue is. I don't is. know about that. This has been a sick house for the past couple days, and it's gonna continue to be. Blue just got over being severely ill. He's, I think, one of the like the longest lasting flus that I've ever seen you have. It was going on a week of him just being completely out of commission on the it couch. Was and just, terrible. It was pretty awful. On the couch? Was, on the toilet, you mean? <laughs> and this morning, poor kid woke up with such a cough and you can hear it in his little voice. He sounds so sick. It's all dust. Because that's all from the rain. Dust is not from the rain. What do you mean dust is not from the rain? The car is not dusty because of the rain. What's wrong with you? Is that your biggest worry? What? That's yours. What? Cheers. Daddy! Since I watched the Jeff Bridges plastic video about becoming a plastic society, I decided I was really going to commit to not using single-use plastic. And here we are, like a two cups okay. of plastic. Very difficult sometimes. I mean, if you go to places like McDonald's and other fast food restaurants, they'll give you paper cups. And yeah, I guess you get less plastic that way. But when you come and you ask for water. This is our lunch. We definitely did not go the healthy route. Lou's been a little sick lately, so he got boring chicken and rice. I asked the guy what his favorite thing was, and he told me this. Of course, it's covered in cheesy deliciousness. What? Crazy. You're crazy. I'm no crazy. No, you're crazy. No crazy. No, you're crazy. No crazy. Here we go. Jeez, Daddy, slow it down. Where are we going? Home. No, we're not going home. No. Nursery. Nursery. This place looks way more fun. Oh. Jeez, Louise. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Somehow this has become a driving Miss Daisy situation. Two of them in the back seat and me driving. On the damn air conditioning. It's all the way up. I don't know how much higher it could be. Higher than that. It's two knots not on. Let's go. Matt's forgotten that I'm in the back seat and that I'm child proofed in the car. Forgot the child lock. <laughs> 